The main difference between bonding zirconia and glass ceramics is the surface treatment required to achieve a strong bond. Glass ceramics like Emacs contain a glassy face that can be chemically roughened with hydrofluoric acid, creating tiny microporosities that allow the resin cement to interlock with the surface, providing micromechanical retention. After etching, a brief rinse with phosphoric acid removes any leftover salts or debris and a silane primer is applied to chemically bond the resin to the ceramic, giving a strong and reliable bond. Zirconia, on the other hand, is a polycrystalline metal oxide with almost no glass, so it cannot be etched with hydrofluoric acid and silane actually does not work on them. Bonding zirconia depends on mechanical roughening, usually by sandblasting. And this initial sandblasting is mostly done by the labs before they deliver the restoration to you. It also requires chemical activation of the bonding sites with an MDP containing primer. But what happens is, after trying a zirconia crown in the patient's mouth, saliva and other contaminants can stick to the surface. So the restoration should be cleaned. And this cleansing can be done either with re-sandblasting or with sodium hypochlorite or with any chemical agent such as IvoClean, which is then followed by application of the MDP primer and cement application. Using the correct surface treatment and primer for each material is critical for a durable restoration. Stay tuned, I'll be posting a step-by-step -step how-to video soon on bonding ceramics and zirconia properly. So follow for tips to make your restoration strong and long-lasting. Thank you for watching.